everyone. So this, in this video, I am going to show you how to make Google site. So this is the, um, the place you want to go, how to get here. You click this platform and click the site. And then, then you will come to this page. I have to, uh, I already created two sites. That's why it's here. But if you haven't created anything, it should be blank. Um, so here it is. Um, there are some templates that you can use. So you can explore these, but I am going to do use this blank today. So it's clean slate and you can play around it. So here, the first thing is you are going to decide your site name. So I am going to say just test. And if you want to add logo, you can do that by clicking this and then you can choose select from your Google Drive if you have any photos there or if you have any photos like this is my school logo so I'm going to use this and then just say insert and you will see the logo here already so um you can get if you have any logo you want to put in it's there you can you can insert that okay so the page title this is the first page is always to me it's always home so i create the home page now uh, i want to add more pages so if you want to add more pages go to this right right side and in the center it's called it's the pages so here you can add new pages. So click the plus. Okay, so I am going to make a page like for you want. And then done. That's all you need. And then you are, I'm going to add one more page, unit two, and there goes. So I create it on the top. This is when where I can navigate. So home page. You need one page and you need two page and you can make more pages as as you need so i'm going back to the home page and um i do not like this background so i'm going to change the background by clicking change image and then you can select the image again and i there are already gallery you can choose from or if you have your own pictures that I'm going to use this. This is a picture I took, so it's safe to use. Um, you just select it, and then there it goes. I have a banner with a Japanese picture, and the same thing we, if it's unit one is the greetings, you can do like something, um, like you can search for like greetings. Uh, I don't like it, but you can just choose any photos. Just say, okay, I'm just going to do this. So you can choose the pictures. So you, you can choose the background of the banner. So you know this, these are all different pages. Um, so that's, you can choose from the gallery. Any, okay, so, so now you have the banner. And also you can choose the header type if you care about those. So there's just cover or larger banner. That's the larger banner. It's like you have like a huge one. I did I don't really like it. So I'm just gonna keep this regular banner. That's good enough for me. Okay, so you have this, and I'm going back to my home page because that's where I want to start. Okay, now in order to type in words, um you are going to click this white space. You are going to double click it and then you will see this uh, round stuff. And then on this one is for images. And this one you can insert upload photo or uh, a document from your computer or like this is from Drive. You can also embed it. Um, so I am going to just type in say welcome so that will be this center one tt that's the text and then i'm just going to say welcome and then i'm going to make it bigger 
So, and I also want to change this box color. So I'm going to click this palette next to it, and then just make it emphasize. And then you can also put the images if you like. Okay, so I, I said welcome. Okay, now I am going to click here again, double click, and I am going to put some um some picture or some document from my Google Drive. So this one is okay. I'm going to my Japanese uh, program page, and this is here. I created this tennis to learn Japanese. That seems appropriate. So I'm just gonna double click it, and then there it goes. It's already there, and then I'm gonna click out. Um, and then this is too small, so I'm going to click the picture. Then you will see this box with dots around the document and then you grab it with this double arrow then that you can make it bigger if you like like this okay okay and i'm going to make a title so i'm going to click the white space again double click and text then i will say 10 reasons to learn japanese and i do i will make this font bigger um i will say heading yeah because it's good okay but i don't like this under the picture so i'm going to move this so when you see this box with that and then when you see the cross arrow you can move it around and i'm going to move it to the top of this picture so when you will see this big um blue board lines that's where it's going to be okay so it looks fine now <clears throat> now i'm going to add some uh, insert some video from youtube so again double click the next if you can see this is like the dot line here so that's that's like a different section kind of so double click the space again and oh but there is no youtube so i'm going to go to insert and go all the way down and there it goes it's youtube so i'm going to click here and i'm going to find something Yoko so japan welcome japan videos because i know they have good videos and there it goes i'm going to just double click this and then there goes the video and then i want to make it bigger so it's easier to see and then i will again title the video and make it bigger heading and i will move this up okay and I actually, I want one more video, so I just make it center. Okay, so now I'm going to click this, the side, the right side of the first video. And then I'm going to, uh, actually, I can do that. I can, I'm going to insert another video. Okay. And, okay, I like this one. Okay, oh, I don't like this place. I'm going to move this to next to this video, but okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to type the name, video, two, and then again, I'm going to move, and then I'm actually making it to head, heading, and then move this up so it's actually aligned. And then I can make it a little bit bigger to align. If you get these small things, you can do that. So now it looks clean to me. And actually, I just want to change the background color so, so it kind of like shows like it's different things. This is the document and this is the um, video. So like these are the things that if it's the cosmetic things you can walk around. And then you can also put a calendar if you like and says okay so this is my google classroom and that's the calendar so i like this one i'm gonna insert my google classroom calendar so the, my assignment will be here the due assignment thing will be here so or like if you type in some event for your program those calendar can come
come up to. So that's something if you like, you can put it too. So you can play around this um, to see what each functions do. Um, I never really use everything. However, like, it, I like to play around to see if anything works for me. Okay, so I am ready to publish, but before that, I want to make sure it looks pretty good. So here, this is a preview. So I'm going to preview my screen. Okay, so this it looks pretty good. This is how people will see. Uh, this is a computer. Okay, so how about if I want to see this on tablet? So this is the view of the tablet. Okay, and then this is how you see it on your phone. So like the Google site, actually the new version is actually make it um, adjust to the size of the device they are going to see this site. Okay, so it looks, it looks good. Okay, now I am going to set this. So setting, you can actually change the navigation from top to the side if you like. So now you, you see these three lines on the left, and then this is where you can navigate. But it's hard to find it for me, so I am going to actually keep it on the top. So I'm just going back there and then stay top. Um, so these are like something like you can change the fonts and colors and stuff. Um, in the viewer tools, you can, if you are interested in these things, and, analyze, and you can enable analytics, like if you want to know from it, who watches these things. Um, and if you want to put the announcement banner, you can do that also. Okay, and then so that banner will come up. And I will say home page or pages. So let's see if you show banner and banner color, I will make it uh, pink, whatever. Um, Japanese start on Monday or something, or the assignment is good. And I think that looks good. I don't and that's it, I think. Open new tab. Okay, and see how it looks. Actually, I never use this one, so I'm curious how it works. Okay, I'm gonna get it off. So, so the banner, the announcement will be on the top. So, like, if you have anything you want to say some on that day, you just use that function from the setting. But I do not want that anymore, and then I'm just gonna take that out, and then it will be gone. So you can use that if there's anything important coming up. Okay. Now you are going to share this. Um, you are going to decide who can see this site. So here links you can change it, and then you can say publish site to just to what the very people. Or if you want to make it public so the parents can see it, make it public or restrict it means only the few people, only the added people can watch it. So this would be a good one if you just want to make site with the student's site. And then that will, if that's an assignment for the students to create a Google site, then this might, this might be the ones that you should use. Um, but for my purpose to because my site is for advocacy purpose, so I will make it public and then say done. Okay, so it, now I'm ready to publish. So I'm going to publish this. And then you can decide on the... Yeah, because I already created a test site last time, so I'm just going to say test one. So you can choose your web address name, and then that will be at the end. So like my my Japanese site, I will say Maloney JLC, so um, it's easier to find. Okay, so, and if you don't want to have your 
site on the search engine like Google, then click it so nobody can search it just for safety. -ish. Um, um, so I'm ready. I'm going to publish and then I'm going to publish this. Okay. So now it's published. And uh, so like people can see it. And then here, this is the link to the published site for the people. And then this is what you want to share with your family or students. And you can see it actually, that video won't show you, but if you, um, you can see that, that not, that's when they can see the, the site publicly. Okay, so that's it for the Google site. Um, more you try to play around it, you will it get easier and you will find a way to do it. So um, enjoy and, and try to create one.